One of the important things that I want you to keep in mind when you're reading the Federalist Papers, remember that these people went to a convention, and there were 55 of them from 12 different states. Remember, Rhode Island didn't send anybody there. So you have 55 people, different interests, and not everybody got what they wanted, okay? Virginia didn't want get everything they wanted. Uh, New Jersey didn't get what they wanted. Pennsylvania didn't get what they wanted. So they all had to compromise. And it's very obvious when you read the readings, uh, read the conversations that they had inside the convention. So when Madison, Hamilton, and John Jay, John Jay never went to the convention but Madison and Hamilton did. Madison was there almost every day. When they write the Federalist, they are trying to defend something that they didn't necessarily agree with everything about it. So remember that. Uh, once you start reading the American history in 1790s, like the decade after they wrote the Constitution, you will start noticing it. You will start noticing that Madison and Hamilton and Jefferson totally switched sides. So uh, keep that in mind and always remember that we want to start, start with Federalist Papers to understand the concept of Federalism, but we want to gradually study the American civilization and see how federalism developed and that's the nice thing about it so don't think like these are federalist papers comprise a holy book they are not a holy book it's 85 important essays very important they explain the Constitution as it came out of the Convention of Philadelphia this is before the amendments were added but every time an amendment is added, the Constitution changes a little bit. So you have to always remember that. Like the, uh, like the amendments after the Civil War, 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment, those totally changed the Constitution, of course for the better, but it was a revolutionary, those were revolutionary amendments. So keep that in mind as we go along.